So what's going on guys, Mr. Moon here, and welcome to my first Gran Turismo 7 video. Um, so today I'm going to show you a new strategy for Circuit de la Sorte, or for this World Touring Car 700 challenge. Uh, so as you can see, I have the Sport Quattro, I don't know how you say that, <laughs> I butchered it, I know, and there might be background noise, but just ignore it. So. I'm going to show you a strategy I use for this instead of using the Red Bull, which I mean you can still do that strategy or whatever other strategy, but I wanted to show you this method instead. So and I'm going to go to my garage to show you the tuning specs that I've got on this thing. Alright so here's the car and I'm going to go into the car settings to show you what I've got. So in the shop I got racing hard tires and uh high performance turbocharger and I know about the fuel thing but don't worry your fuel lines up perfectly with the AI so you have an advantage the entire race after the second lap obviously keep your power max and change the top speed to 360 because that's pretty much where your engine can go maximum capacity without you know not working and then in the manual adjustment what I did I pushed the final gears up to 385 and I didn't adjust any manual gears so uh, just go ahead and do that and your car will literally go from being uh, 500 overpower to 788. And you got a beast. This thing will literally destroy that race. And any of the other 700 touring cars, but this one in particular I'm doing because you get 825,000 for doing a clean race bonus. So it's worth it. So let me cut over to the gameplay and explain how to do the race, and it's pretty much it. You can cut off now if you want and just try it yourself. So yeah, let's cut to it. Alright, real quick, to unlock the car you have to do this World Rally Challenge and get third or higher to unlock the car, and you'll do this once you get to that menu of doing the off-road GRB races. And uh, yeah, once you get to that point, you can unlock the car. Because you can't really buy it in the shop, you only unlock it through this race, just as an FYI. And also, if you want to look up a YouTube peak video, if you don't think that the performance that I did was fine, because I just did it from my basic knowledge, um, just go ahead and do that if you want. But mine so far has won every time, and I've gotten tons of cash for it. So let's get on to it this time for real. Alright, so I'm starting the race up now and in the beginning you're gonna pretty much have an easy time as you'll see just now. Uh, you pretty much outlap everyone on your first lap. And now this race is maximum 7 laps and if you're lucky you might not get rain but like pretty much 99% of the time I've done this I've always gotten rain. And uh, some people get really lucky with it, but pretty much all of us get rain, so around lap 3 the rain would get pretty bad, and so you're gonna probably want to do intermediate tires, but for me, I just stay with hard because this car is four-wheel drive, and it has pretty good grip. Uh, so it doesn't really bother me in the rain sections, and as long as you're not like pushing your throttle really hard, you can pretty much have good grip on the road the entire race. So. I'm gonna cut over to that point in the video right now and as you can see um, right now it's starting to rain on this lap and it usually starts around lap 3 as you can see and uh, it goes on until around lap 4 then on lap 5 it's just pretty wet and it's not so bad in the beginning and it's not until around lap 4 where the rain gets pretty heavy and things are just out of control. And usually you would have like at least half an hour, half, half a minute lead, sorry. <laughs> and the AI would just be slip and slide, but since you know you can control your car better than it can, you would pretty much get about a minute ahead of the AI. And around this point, is I start slipping because the track is pretty wet and it's no biggie because you can regain traction and get right back on track and uh, I'm about to approach the pit stops because I'm running out of fuel around this time and I had my consumption set to 6 and I forgot to mention that I'm sorry I'll put a note 
So there's the message on screen about me needing to refuel so I'm about to pull into the pit stop and pits usually last for about 30 seconds if you uh, don't change tires which you don't have to and I recommend you not unless if you really are not that good at driving with hard tires when it's wet. Alright, here I am in the pits and I'm just going to fill up all the way max because then I'll have enough fuel to reach lap 7 or usually uh, by that time so I would be at the end of the endurance so like you would go in for the pit stop refuel and then go around for one lap so this is technically a 32 minute race or even a 31 minute race or a 34 minute race depending on how late you are into the pits and uh, not into the pits well yeah into the pits <laughs> what a, how long your lap times are so if the timer has like 10 seconds left and you're like right at the end just wait for it to hit zero and then just drive so you don't have to do the extra lap but if your ai is right behind you then just go for the next lap and just hope for the best but i usually always refuel because i'm like a minute ahead around that time so i'm gonna fast forward towards the point where i get pretty heavy as you can see i'm already slipping and it's really hard to control the ai have all gone for a pit so i have a huge advantage and this is where you get the minute lead i'm already 55 seconds without the pits so let me fast forward now and as you're going to see it's pretty rough to control and around this point your car even just going down the straights starts to shake as you see right here um, so I recommend you brake like way earlier than you would normally because it's really hard to control and also don't push your throttle just let your car kind of slide when you're going down the straight full send it but just instead of braking right away let go of the throttle and then brake just like in real life because your car is very slidey and hydroplaning as you can see like I'm literally drifting like Tokyo drifting down the street which you're not supposed to do um, so as long as you you know remain calm and just keep it slow you shouldn't really have to worry about the AI as you can see already 50 second lead so this is a really easy thing to do I guess as you can see I just let my car slide in you don't get penalized for going off track for some reason if you're just sliding in and you don't really go in fast it's kind of as if you just went off track and not track cutting, which I don't know why. It just didn't give me the penalty. And it doesn't matter. Penalties don't matter for clean race bonus. So you can just see me having trouble controlling the car. And it just gets worse because all the twists and turns that go on on this track, especially as you can see right here, I'm about to lose control completely on this turn. And it just, you know, after this lap, the fifth and sixth lap are pretty much easy because it's just like the third lap where it's just wet and it's starting to dry up so you have a little bit more control and then eventually you're gonna get to the seventh lap which would be at the end of the six you would have to pit in and fuel and then uh, you know you're done so I'm gonna just have the rest of the race fast forward for you pretty quick so you can just get to that point and then I'll cut back in for the pit stop and stuff so yeah, just uh, enjoy the rest of the race. Alright, and uh, just, uh, you know, like I said, enjoy the race. Uh, feel free to click off now, that's about it. Uh, I'll leave timestamps if you want to just, like, s skip over to the thing that I'm going to say for the pit. And then if you want to see my times too, I'll put those up on the bottom of timestamps there at the end of the video too, if you want to just skip ahead. And yeah, uh, I'm going to just say thank you so much if you for watching if you click off now and uh, enjoy watching the rest of this race before I come back
Alright, as you can see, we're approaching the pits and lap 7 is going to start and as you can see at the top I have 2 minutes left and about a minute lead from the AI so I'm going to pit in and get some fuel for just about 2 laps so then I can put my fuel consumption to 1 and you'll feel the power difference on this car and yeah so it's really worth this worth <laughs> worth this this wraith is really worth it for half an hour for 825 credits for a clean race bonus which is really easy to get because you just don't have to hit the AI and that's it if you go off track it doesn't really matter it's just you know so you don't slow down completely and here I am entering the pits and uh, yeah I'll fast forward from here and uh, then I'll show you the ending and uh, I'll sign you guys off and I hope you enjoyed the video so enjoy the rest of the race So as you can see, I finished the race, I'm first, and there are the times, I finished in 32 minutes and 49 seconds, so it's uh, pretty worth it. And there's my clean race bonus with 825,000 in credits, and a uh, roulette ticket for my daily driving, and it's pretty worth it. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, please give me feedback and whatever you liked about the video in the comments and just you know general improvements how you liked it and all and uh, i hope you have a great day thanks for watching see you later